My name is Brian Sturgis. That's spelled B-R-I-A-N-S-T-I-R-G-U-S. I'm a senior at Paul Robeson High School and an organizer with the Chicago Students Organizing to Save Our Schools. Yeah. Before I begin, I would first like to have a moment of silence for the schools that we lost today. Thank you. Secondly, I would like to thank each and every member of CSOSOS and every other student, parent, and organizer that have worked so hard with us to make this fight a success. This was not one man effort. As a member of CSOSOS, I learned so much, not just about myself, but about the injustices of the world, about the CPS system, and about the city of Chicago as a whole. I wouldn't have rather fought this fight with any other group of students. Unfortunately, today isn't all about the success of our group. It's about the fact that the CPS system has failed us yet again. Coming from Inglewood, one of the only outlets students have are our schools. To take them away from us is truly a tragedy. Prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, for more and more headlines with stories of children dropping out of school and stories of children being more subject to violence. Why? Because Rahm Emanuel has set the students up for failure yet again. I'm brokenhearted, and my mind races at the thought of my younger sister now having to attempt to gain her education in a merged school while crossing gang lines in classrooms up to 40 and 50 students. Yes, it is a small victory to have a few schools removed from the closing list, but no, we are not satisfied with only a few schools. Because the fact still remains that thousands of students are still being robbed of the rightful education that they deserve. Rob and Man on the CPS system have not seen the last of CSOSOS. My fellow students know that our voices will be heard. We are here and we will fight for justice. This will not be given, this will be taken. And I don't know how Rahm Emanuel and the CPS Board of Education can still look at themselves in the mirror and sleep at night knowing the decision that they've made today. But what I do know is that we, the Chicago students organizing to save our schools, will fight and continue to fight for what is right. Rahm and CPS, you will hear from us again. Today marks the day that we lost 49. 49, ladies and gentlemen, 49 schools full of what will someday be our future. 49 schools of future ambassadors and leaders for our city, our country, and for the world. The city of Chicago will never be the same. Thank you. from King College Prep High School. Hello, my name is Victoria Kreider. Victoria, traditional spelling, Kreider, C-R-I-D-E-R. -E I'm 17 years old. I'm a junior at King College Prep High School. And I'm out here because, for one, Rob says that we don't have the cash to support our school and that he schools are failing. But he has over 300 million to give to us. Uh, the right stadium, to build a stadium that's going to be used like once every year. That's not right, is it? No! Is that right? No! But one of my biggest points is that it's not, it's not only a money problem, this is a problem about our children. Our children are our future, and to take our children away and have them cross these dangerous gang lines, that's a problem. Is that a problem? Yeah! I'm saying, is that a problem? Yeah! Thank you. This is not going to be the only vigil. I'm sad to say, but, I'm, but I am a realist. I'm sad to say that this is not going to be the only thing because if he closed these schools, then so many children would die. Do we want that? No! Do we want that? No! My name is Victoria Carter, and thank you. Alberto Brito from Roosevelt High School. Woo! 
Okay, so my name is Alberto Brito. It's A L B E R T O B R I T O, and I'm a junior at Roosevelt High School. And I'm also a, um, an organizer with Chicago Students Organized to Save Our Schools. And I'm glad to say that I'm proud to be with this organization because of the fact that I know that I'm not the only one that's fighting for what's right. And like um, Israel said, you know, on what happened on April 24th on the boycott on the second day of testing, I can gladly say I was one of those juniors that took the risk and did the boycott with them. Is, um, do you guys think that it's right for these, um, the Board of Education to close down these schools? No! Is it right? No! It's not right! No. And the reason why we're here, like we said, is basically to support the schools that are, not, and that are getting closed down because we feel like we, they don't deserve to get closed down. We feel like no schools should get closed down. Why are you trying to ruin the education of uh, the children? Why? Why are you putting them in danger in gang lines and also ruining their education? Really? Barbara Bennett, you send out letters for, um, for students to stay in school. Then why are you closing down these schools? Why? Are you seriously like sending out letters for students to stay in school when you're closing down schools and students won't be able to go to school? Like seriously? Makes no sense. Um, even though I am from the north side and I'm not being affected by this, I once um, one attack to one school is an attack to all schools. Yeah. And this is why we're here. Because we feel like the, um, no schools should get closed down. Yeah, you took down a few schools from the list. Still, that does not matter. No school at all should get closed down. Thank you. We would like to bring the presence of the people affected most by this decision in this space. When I call on these people, I ask the crowd to please respond by saying presente. To all the students whose elementary schools have been stolen by a racist and selfish mayor, a racist and careless board of education, and a racist and unjust Chicago public schools system, we hear you. Presente. To all the students who now have to cross violent gang territories just to get an education that is still unequal. We hear you. <laughs> to all the students, parents, and community members whose rights have been ignored, violated, and neglected by the people who are supposed to lead us, but instead betray us. We hear you. <laughs> and to these same students that will come after them, who understand that the fight is far from over and we will continue leading this struggle. We hear you. Thank you. We will now receive individual interviews from the press.